Guys, in today's video, we're going to be doing the sod installation process. And today, we're going to be installing a muck based Seville St. Augustine. We prefer this over a sand based product. Uh, we feel the quality is way better. Now, there's a lot of debate going on whether or not the root systems for muck based products grow shallower than the sand based product. If that were true, that would mean that we'd retain the water a little bit less. But what we have found to be true is that the quality is it's far and beyond what a sand based product is. And several years down the road, we see a, a healthier lawn versus a sand-based material. And many times, people can lose their sand-based material pretty quickly. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to this stuff as well. It's a lighter product. It's less messy to work with. And I mean, just look at this base color and the color of the grass. And like I said, this is a Seville, so it's got a bluish-green tint to it. And it will darken up once it gets installed. Here in Florida, this is our best product for shade areas. We get a little morning sun here, but that's about it. After that, it will get darker. So, there you go. Now, when it comes to installing the product, there are several ways you can go about And what we like to do is work from the grass line over to the concrete line. And the reason for that is it's going to save us some time when it comes to the cut-ins and the cut-out process. So, what I'm talking about here is that when you're installing or regularly if you're working from what I just said from the grass line to the concrete the grass is going to button right up to the edge of the grass you won't have to cut anything in here to fit but if you're working from the concrete and you come over you're going to have a lot of pieces that are going to be short you're going to have a nice little gap you have to cut pieces to fit you'll also hang pieces over uh, into the other parts of the areas that you're not going to remove and then you'll have to lift it up look at the line and then cut it to fit so if you're doing a decent sized project, doing that process uh, without starting from the grass line towards the concrete and flower beds could save you several hours of time. You'll run a more efficient you know, business that way. So yeah, there you have it. Another helpful tip when you're installing the grass is that you're going to start the top lines first right here. And then you'll start working kind of like at an angle. You'll work piece by piece here stuff like that, but you're always going to want to work the front stuff first that's going to be connected to the beds. If you don't, sometimes these pieces aren't always the same width and then down later in the, in the somewhere down here you'll have a bunch of cut in spots where you'll have to take some time and figure out put together like a puzzle basically. So, And then when you're installing the grass pieces, if there's a sprinkler head, make sure you're flagging all your sprinkler heads. Put the flag back down over the exact location so when you're going to do your cutouts, you already know where it's at. You just got to take your machete, your edger, your knife, whatever you're using to do cutouts and cut around that to fit. And like I said, when it comes to the cutout process, which we'll go over in a little bit, we like to use an edger. We found that's the fastest process when it comes to that and we'll get to that in just a second. Now we've finished with the installation part and now it's time to begin with the cut-ins and cut-outs. And you'll see over here on the concrete, we've left certain areas overlapping. And what we'll do is we'll just cut that away. And the beautiful thing about the overlapping pieces is that they may fit perfectly into our areas that need to be filled in anyways with cut-ins. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the edger blade and that'll do the trick. And now you can see after we've used the edger, it creates a crisp edge all the way down. It's real nice. You're probably not going to get that with any other tool that you use when it comes to the cutouts. And it gives beds pretty good definition. I mean, it's not bad right there. Still got a little clean up there. But now all that's left is to do the clean up and then run the irrigation one last time just to make sure everything's getting adequately covered. And that's your sod installation. Hope this was a helpful video for you guys.